Hi, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm going to guide you through all the proper steps to diagnose a blocked or obstructed vent on the gas furnace and resulting in the pressure switch opening. So to begin with, we need to click on the thermostat to make sure it's calling for heat. If we click on this little orange circle, it will turn the thermostat to heat mode, and it will also set the temperature setting above the room or ambient temperature. Now after each step, it's going to be necessary to click on the procedure guide up here at the top. Once we've done that, we're going to remove the door from the furnace and take an inventory of which loads are running. But when we do this, there's a door switch right here at the center right of the furnace. And when the door is removed, this switch is going to open its contacts and break power to the furnace. You know, in order to troubleshoot, we're going to need power to the furnace. So to remedy this problem, you're going to simply tape the door switch in. This can be done by just simply clicking this orange rectangle, which will place a piece of tape over the door switch, ensuring that its contacts are closed and the furnace is receiving power. Now we see that our inducer is running. And that's the first component that should come on within the sequence of operations. So yeah, our inducer's running. Next, we want to check the igniter. But before we do that, it probably is going to be necessary to reboot the system or turn it off and back on. And this is because once three attempts at ignition have been made, the IFC or integrated furnace control will lock out operation of the furnace. And this can be remedied by simply turning the furnace off and back on. So we're gonna click on this little orange outline and we're gonna reboot the system. Now you wanna be ready because immediately you're gonna to have to start looking for that igniter glow. So when we go down here, we look, the igniter's here in the back and there's no glow coming from it. This thing actually will reach surface temperatures of 2,600 degrees, so there'd be an obvious orange glow there. So no, our igniter's not on. Now, before we assume we have an issue with the igniter, we need to verify that the pressure switch right here closed its contacts. The pressure switch verifies safe combustion airflow. And if its contacts don't close, the IFC will not even send power to the igniter. So let's place our leads across the contacts of the pressure switch and see what we've got for voltage here. Now, if it's closed, we should get zero volts, but in fact, we have 24 volts. Now, this indicates the pressure switch is open, so we don't have a problem with the igniter here. Um, the igniter's not glowing simply because the pressure switch didn't prove safe airflow, so the IFC won't send power to the igniter. Now, does this mean the pressure switch is faulty? Usually not. Occasionally you could have a bad pressure switch, but in most cases there's an obstruction in the vent that's going to cause the pressure switch to open its contacts and not allow ignition of the furnace. So we're going to click 24 volts here at the top. And our next step is we're going to just check for some loose connections, and we don't have any loose connections there. Our next step would be to inspect the vent, and when we go outside we can see that there in fact is an obstruction in the vent. It's blocked by leaves. Now you may have bird's nests, insects, all sorts of things that could get in that vent uh, during the off season. So we do in fact have an obstruction. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna clear the obstruction. Click OK. This should cause the pressure switch to now close. And again, it may be necessary to reboot the furnace. We wanna go up to the house and verify that heat is reaching the space. And if we look at the floor register here, we can see that we do in fact have heated air coming out of the register. So we've solved the problem. Good luck on all your future service calls, and hopefully I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. Do you want to try 3D simulations and VR HVAC training yourself? Then visit interplaylearning.com to start a free trial today.